Hello, this is John Sims with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. In this video I'll cover using Avaya or a System Manager to analyze and then upgrade B5800 firmware. Before we get started with the live configuration and process, let's cover a few points about the analyze and upgrade of B5800 firmware. Starting in Release 6.2, System Manager and the upgrade management portion of System Manager has the ability to analyze and manage units to determine if a software update is available. If there is a newer version available, you can then trigger a download to pull that newer version into the software repositories to upgrade the B1500 branch gateway. To determine if there is a new software available, Avaya PLDS uses the file versions underbar sp.xml which is actually available on the support site and contacted there in order to compare and contrast the current installed software on the device with the latest available on PLDS. The versions SPXML is regularly updated with the latest firmware software releases available for upgrade. So as you see we start off on the landing page, the initial page of, of VIA or System Manager 6.2. It's under the inventory pages and subpages that we're actually going to go to upgrade management. But first let's take a look at manage elements. I just want to make a few precursory points. Under upgrade management, if I select type to sort on type, you see we have many branch gateways that the system manager is in fact aware of. So you have to keep that in mind. You have to have a collected inventory of B5800s for the system manager to then analyze and perform upgrades. So I'm under collected inventory and if you see I go to the next page and I went one too far, I'll scroll back. You see I have B5800 units there and they're telling me my software firmware version is 6.236. There's the three control units. So I have some suitable candidates ready for upgrade. So before we jump into analyzing software, keep in mind you have to have proper user settings to contact the PLDS and support site. So we have to have that page filled out with usernames and proxy settings. And then you have to have your repositories. And you have to have software available in the repositories. So as you see there, I'm looking at manage files. And we see that we have the 6.2.38 version available, both the admin light and more importantly in this case, the full sum package, which is the full firmware update package for the B1500 branch gateways. And you see that it's on an off-board external repository, contrasting to the B1500 Lite, which is on the System Manager local repository. So now it's time to go to Manage Software under Upgrade Management. And it's here that we can collect an inventory and then analyze an inventory. So I'll tell it to get a fresh inventory Again, it's going to pull all the managed elements and determine their current status and determine their current release levels. So clicking on status, we see that our inventory job has been successfully submitted now to the scheduler. We can always check on the scheduler just to see the submittal of the job if we ran into any trouble. So you see me clicking refresh to see if we have new inventory data. So it will take some time to repopulate and update the current inventory data for the branch gateways. So I'm going to let some time lapse occur and hit refresh and you see we've collected five inventory elements. If I pause or time lapse again a little bit and hit refresh again, you'll see we've made some headway and we've collected 18 inventory elements. So I think it's time we've collected enough inventory and that's what we started out with before I re-ran the inventory. So now it's time to analyze this freshly collected inventory. So at the top there you'll see I'll check the header to check all of the inventory elements and then I'll click on the analyze button and instead of scheduling I'll select now to run the analyze feature now on this inventory and you should see quick indication that the analyze feature is working because you'll see that state column has been updated and we have now visual indication of the assessment the system manager assessment of each inventory piece of whether it is upgradable or not and we're also being told by System Manager that these control units are in an idle state. So if I hover over the state field, you should see, and it won't pick up in this video, that it says the unit is ready for upgrade. Unfortunately, our video software is not able to show you what happens when you hover over those state fields because that will give you a little Windows pop-up 
to tell you what the current status is. And the yellow is telling you that it is an upgradable element. So we're going to hit into the help pages to show this to you. So on the page you're working from, you always have the option to hit that help link and it will bring you to context-based help. And under overview of managing software, I'll go to the analyze software. And it's here that I want to point out what the visual indicator icons mean. So we have a blue which represents a non-upgradable device. A red means the software is not available in the library for download to the device. And the yellow is what we had on those B5800 control units, which means the software is available and ready for upgrade. And you can schedule the upgrade any time for this device. Now keep in mind there is one, a few more icons that can present itself if you do not have proper PLDS SSO entitlement. So now it's time to select a control unit for upgrade. I've selected the B5800-196 with the IP address of 196 control unit. It's sitting at idle status. I'll click the upgrade button and we get a summary screen which tells us we have a control unit. It's on IP address 196. It's a B5800 image and its suitable job type is for upgrade and current version is 36. Now you see here in the library we could choose from multiple software repositories. You could have multiple repositories in other words. We only have this one repository prepped for the B5800 sum package and then you can also manage under release many different releases as well. Now we only have downloaded this 6.238 which is the current GA release so that's what we're going to apply to this control unit through upgrade. So you see we have a scheduling option as well because the upgrade is going to require a reboot and be service affecting so you can tell it when to fire off on your what date, what time. Um, in this case scheduled application would also give you a reoccurrence and a range which you probably will never need for upgrade purposes. So I'm going to fire this job off now. You'll see me click the now button and then we're going to be led back to the manage software screen and you see that we've sent the job to the scheduler to run so I'll I'll click my 196 control unit and select status and you see we have a running status now we're gonna take a look at a lot of status going forward as the upgrade proceeds so I'll continue to time lapse the video a bit. You see we're parsing inventory as the current task. If I hit on the status running link, you'll see we'll get a readout of status where we've gone through several stages of preparing and pulling inventory and now parsing the inventory. And that means parsing the inventory on that B1500 unit. So if I continue to select the unit and select status, we'll get updates as we go along. So as mentioned, I'm going to let the video lapse, but I'm going to continue to hit the status running link and pull updated status. And you see we've made some progress from parsing the inventory to determining the delta to now pulling files, which means pulling files from the software repository to the B1500 unit, preparing the secure digital card to then handle the upgrade. Again, pulling in the updated firmware files. So you see we also have the option to trace this from the B5800 side using system monitor. So under filters trace options I'll head to the services tab. We want to make sure we have HTTP selected and even the memory card command selected. So I'll select those both and I'll click OK. And now you see we can trace very well also on the B5800 side to see the transactions occurring. So I've paused the tracing so we can take a look at an example. As you see here in this trace segment we've sent out a get request and then received a response and that's all coming via HTTP through web services and it's actually not coming from system manager we've been redirected to our offboard file repository right now we're in direct communication with the software external software repository for the B1500 upgrades to then send all of these updated firmware files to the B1500 unit to store on the SD card and then eventually trigger a full upgrade. So when we return to System Manager we see that we're now in current task mode of upgrading. We've gone from pulling files to actually processing the upgrade. So you see our status is continuing to improve as the upgrade is proceeding. 
Now a quick look back at System Monitor reveals we've caught a reboot in the trace. So the upgrade is preceded and completed and then triggered a reboot of the system. So you'll have a little period there where System Manager will not give us status. So now we see the system coming back online. We'll check back with System Manager. So I'm checking back with System Manager, hitting the running link for our final status. And you see that we've fully upgraded. And then it caught the fact that we had to reboot. And the upgrade finalization, there's nothing to occur. So the upgrade task is now complete. And the system is back to idle with current tasks set to none. And we're also finding that the inventory analysis has been updated with a green checkbox indicating that everything is right and well with this B5800 and fully upgraded. And this completes our demonstration of a system manager directed analysis and upgrade of a B1500 branch gateway. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.